We are back on MSNBC, our election night coverage, Election Plaza at 30 Rockefeller Plaza here in New York. Chris Matthews, uh, an important few minutes as we uh, await the top of the hour right. and some closings on the West Coast. And uh, the question I originally posed, which is, Barack Obama is thinking about winning. He's also trying to think about governing. And so he wants to, he wants to win convincingly now as he thinks right. about the daunting challenges ahead. Well, he may well do that. And I think it's good to remember at this very critical moment, literally, that uh, times are identified by the presidency. We may well be entering the age of um, the era of an Obama presidency, which gives the character to the times. And it's so extraordinary for somebody who grew up as I did to imagine the fact that our first family will be African-American. The people living upstairs at the White House will be African-American. That these kids, these beautiful kids, Sasha and Malia, are going to be the first kids. The first lady is going to be Michelle Obama. It's going to be a spectacularly different environment for every kid who reaches consciousness in our society from now on. It will be different than it was before. A five-year-old will grow into an American that says an African-American can be president because guess what? He is. An African-American kid can be the daughter of a president. Guess what? She is. It's totally different. If this happens in the next few minutes and we announce it, every reality we grew up with in terms of ethnicity will be different. And the world will look at us, thank God, with wonder again. My God, how they do it. How do these Americans do it? Nobody in the West has done it except us. Nobody in the whole Western world has done it except us. Once again, America, with all its frailties and all its sins of the past, has been able to do something truly wondrous. And I like it when they say, I don't know how they do it. Yeah. Because we've invented something new, a truly diverse presidency for once. By the way, you could have had a white-only sign over the Oval Office for the last 200 years well, before the way it turned out. You, you could have. wasn't yeah. one? Yeah, I, that's what I, mean. it was, I said it wasn't actually, official, I... but it was there. And now you don't. And it's just, it's just truly wondrous. Because I... Well, we all saw something in this candidate, all of us different, mm -hmm. different ways. But to see him pull this off, not to be appointed president, but to win the presidency and to defeat, we'll see what happens. Let's wait a moment. Let's wait a moment. And to get to have gotten to this point tonight under these circumstances through one of the most extraordinary primary seasons either party has ever seen uh, as, as the test. There was nothing, there was no corner cut for this man to get him to this point. There was no, there was no quarter given for him to get to the point where at, at the top of the hour uh, with whatever does come in or does not come in from the West Coast, uh, we may or may not have things to he say. Won hardball. Hardball. <laughs> he, he won a game of hardball. He won a game of hardball with the Clintons. Uh, and we'll see what happens in a couple of minutes in terms of the presidency, but it is truly wondrous so far. To have put together a majority that is not a mosaic of minorities, that is not cobbling mm -hmm. together a lot of different minority votes into exactly. a majority of that type, but to have put together a majority that includes such a huge swing of white voters from previous white candidates, mm -hmm. to have the country essentially say, we want our government to be different That's in its exactly relationship right. to diversity. The idea was not to do the sort of piecemeal assemblage of, a, of, of interest group coalitions that 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 usually is is the path to victory, but for to, minorities, right? But yes. to make a broader appeal and yeah. to try to embrace all kinds of people from all kinds of backgrounds and bring them together to America a common purpose. America has changed its mind about race and leadership in this country. But it's more than that. It's, it, it's one thing to come out and say we've changed our minds. It would be the other thing to suddenly have the leader of the free world represent the rejection of all of the policies that have been officially and then unofficially and then sotto voce part of this country since its founding, not intentionally, not necessarily with cruelty in our hearts, but just in reality. Never mind about all that. It's it, not never mind, but I mean, but it is a, it is a turning of a page. If you want to answer that, if you want to answer 200 plus years of that, what mm -hmm. stronger answer could there be than this? Yeah. Oh There's no symbolism there. required. No. Here he is. No, you get this immediately. Just see the picture. And by the way, as in baseball, if the pitcher on the mound can't get the other side out, you go to the bullpen. And that's what this country's done this time. We've gone to somebody who hasn't been proven yet because the guy who's been on the mound hasn't it, done it. It is now 11 o'clock on the East Coast. And Keith, we can report history. Barack Obama is projected to be the next president of the United States of America. NBC News calling for the Democratic candidate. The states of California, 55 electoral votes. Washington, 11 electoral votes. Oregon, 7 electoral votes. 
and Hawaii. Four electoral votes. Listen to the crowd at Grant Park in Chicago.